Welcome to another TCT. We've got a trading card talk today. We're talking about sales volumes, Pokemon interest, and uh, whether any of you guys have been buying Pokemon cards or not, especially specifically graded ones, but we'll get into that in a moment. The happier news is, if you were a graded gem submitter, we finally got the order update system launched. It was late last night, but we got there. The emails went out, um, and I'm really happy that a lot of you have seen it on Instagram, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. I've seen a lot of uh, positive feedback, and I'm really happy that you guys have a better idea. So all that will be happening with the order update system is we'll take the information from PSA about your order from our database, link them up, and send you an email once per week. So that's brilliant. And it wouldn't be fair if I didn't start by saying a massive, massive thank you to two Toms. Uh, so the Tom you know, and then a different Tom as well, who helped massively on the development of this order update system. Literally probably wouldn't exist without them both. So thank you very much. Right, let's talk about this system then. Uh, we will be adding status reasoning. So what research and ID means, what QA check 2 means, blah, blah, blah. What What's the PSA terminology? going to be on the gradedgem.com slash order updates it will appear there in fact the whole page is probably going to get a whole redesign before the new email goes out um there were a few bugs <laughs> number one was a pretty big bug uh it, it started off with we received your cards obviously that didn't mean we just had received everyone's cards back so apologies for that second bug was all 2021 submissions were incorrectly labeled april because the 2021 submissions is a different sheet. And for whatever reason, it's just been marked down as April. Obviously, they're not April because PSA were closed. And I don't think PSA would be too happy if we just knocked on with hundreds of thousands of cards on the 1st of April. So, obviously, that's just incorrect. The other bugs are, there might be uh, the chance that you've had no email. There might be the chance that you think the information is wrong. So this is the procedure. If you believe you, well, you know if you've had no email, or if you think your information is wrong, the place to go is ed at gradedgem.com. Ed at gradedgem.com. Ed at gradedgem.com. Couldn't get any simpler. And if possible, please detail your month of submission, full name, and service level. Detail those three things and tell us what the problem is. And then Ed this week, his main job is just going to be going through the order update system, fixing errors, and hopefully that means you'll get the email when we resend them out this week. The other issue we had was specials were not included, or at least I don't think some were, uh, as we needed to pull the information from September, October, um, you know, November as, a, as, a, as a, an example uh, for one service. So it was a bit more difficult to pull all the data from that, put it into that, and then send it out. So that's something we are still working on. And we, realistically, we want to build and develop on this system. We're really happy with the initial alpha launch. But there's a lot more to do. Um, and hopefully, you know, we're on the right track now. It's really good that we've just been able to release it. And I was able to stay to my word last week of getting it done. So I'm happy with that. Next up, we move on to the Facebook group. It's not great news, this one, really. Um... We were very happy to release this order update system just internally, really happy, a lot of great feedback straight away. Um, and, and, you know, we saw the Instagram, we saw the engagement, blah, blah, blah. It was good, you know, it was good. And on the flip side of that, we've given guys more information, you guys who submitted more information, and a vocal minority have just been incredibly negative and commented with distasteful language towards it. And that's not great. It's not great for us. It's not great for Greta Gem. And realistically, a lot of hard work goes into this. And we know the mass majority does. So I'm not speaking to any of you guys. You guys are great. Thank you for your support. Um, and it's just to basically let you know, we will always strive to improve and do our best. Um, that's that simple. When certain individuals attack us, basically, aimlessly with no constructive remarks, it does have an impact. So, you know, if you do have a complaint, bring it to us. Rather, you know, the 800 number. What are the companies is there in the world where you can get straight to the guy who runs it directly not many you know if you have a complaint come to me we'll talk it out that's fine then after that if you're still unhappy do what you wish but i will always do my best to help every single one of you submitters at every single point and basically over the next few weeks i will be personally engaging in that facebook group i will be commenting i will be saying you know stating things um, and I've got to come to a determination of a web that group fits our ethos. Because if it doesn't, then it might just have to go. Or maybe certain individuals have to go and we tell them we tell them the 800 number's available. I don't know. We're running through the options at the moment. But that is a it needs to become a more positive place. And there needs to be better news. We'll, we'll strive to give you that. But in general, it should be a place to talk about TCG, talk about grading. 
you know, that sort of stuff. So, got my eye on it. Last but not least, this is the end of the update. Returns. We have a lot of them. We received uh, two months worth in a week. So, it's a lot. We're getting through them. The quickest way to get them back, you'll get an email. Respond to the email with whatever's asked and just wait. And it's that simple. If you haven't finished your order, finish the order. If there's a value charge, get the value charge paid. And then just tell us where your address is. That's the quickest way, I promise. There's nothing else that can be done. You, and the phoning won't quicken it up. Because if I did that, imagine, oh yeah, I've done it quicker because you phoned it up. Then everyone would just phone up. It wouldn't have any benefit at all. So we're working through it and we'll continue to work through it. In general, positive steps. So glad to say that. However, let's jump into this actual video um, and talk about Pokemon and cards and everything really i bought a friend well, well colleague, colleague. <laughs> <laughs> i already knew it i already knew it ladies and gentlemen uh so this is tom at base at tom go follow his instagram because he's posting a lot on there at the moment i don't um, post no neither do i it's a shame really I'll, I'll get some new memes for you guys some fresh content right so we, we know this website pokemonprice.com you know I'm the website i'm sure we've got ad block on i don't know how we're getting ads but yeah i know pokemonprice.com it looks so, like they've got a new privacy setting right so what, nice. we, what we're going to talk about today is total sales volumes um, and, and because this is quite a dramatic thing, realistically, yeah. like when I saw this date, I was like, well, that's, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's sick. Kind of right. car <laughs> shop in there. <laughs> I'm beginning in the event door. Is that what you can buy with what you, uh, what Pokemon cards are um, at the moment? Well, that is, what, that is a bit ridiculous. I mean, I know I've been looking for a new car, but that a Lamborghini Aventador might just be out of my price range. Anyway. You can get a Hot Wheels version. Yes, I mean, I could. Anyway, let, let's talk about the total sales value over time. So what we've got is, uh, so February 2021, so what, that's, that's two the months ago. That's total sales count, yeah? So yeah. the number of cards that sold. Actually sold 14,000, which is a massive, uh, which equals $7.5 million. So that's pretty big. Wow. So seven and a half million dollars traded in Pokemon cards on eBay that's at PSA. That's not even the highest one. No, it's not. But then we go down to March, and that's a dramatic drop, down to you know nine thousand. Guys, the Pokemon market's crashing. Bail out, bail out, bail out. Right. Yeah. I was hoping to give them a bit better analysis than that, but I, I you know, fair enough. You can put that out there. And then it's gone down that, to. That's that's just the graphical representation of a plane crash. What has happened there? <laughs> Well, this when is it's what, still higher than it was before, but this that's is, pretty bad. Tom, this is what we do on TCT. What we do is we look at the data, and then we feed that back to them and give them reasons why. <laughs> why don't just go, well, that's a plane crash, that's the end of that. All I right, don't Tom. know what's happened there, because March has been... Oh! Lockdowns have started to there end. There we go. Right, yep, cool. Yep, that's what, on my, on my little point. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's on my little point. Say, that's like quite dramatic. Right, so what, what... Should we go back to the start? And let's go September. Two point, That's the start. Let, let's say September's the start. So September. Okay. So this is right before Logan. Yeah, $2.4 million. And there was 9,000 sales. To be fair, I get that though. Because a lot of the items that were selling at that point, if I remember rightly, were like 30 to 50 pound cards. Like cheaper cards. Yeah, they were more expensive. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, absolutely loads right. and loads of cards. However, look at October. We then go from 2 million to nearly, you know, 7.5 seven million more than that. Because of Logan Paul, I would probably guess. And that's another 14,600 sales, basically. So 1.5x on the sales, but 3x on the price or something like that. Yeah, because the supply wasn't there. PSA wasn't getting returns <sighs> back. So therefore, all that naturally could happen was the price of things went up. Not necessarily, you know what I mean? Like, that's all that could happen. Because it was still the same number of things there. <laughs> so much money. It is a ridiculous amount of money. Um, and interestingly, it then went increased in November. And then decreased in December and then January, but then jumped back up in Feb, which is interesting. You know, that's quite interesting. Big increase, actually, by one and a half million. Yeah, I've got a theory about that. People don't want to spend their money on Pokemon cards at Christmas. Yeah, I, I would, I would totally I think agree. That's literally my entire thing. November, people have got bank, haven't they? Yeah. That's why games are released in November, films are released in November, all that stuff. Uh, and then no one wants to spend their money in December. They just want to drink and eat. By saying that's... nobody, we still mean six million dollars worth of transactions. Yeah, but, that's, but there's a big decrease. That's two million dollars less. Like it's Absolutely. three quarters of the the amount. But, um, uh, but then it bounced back in in Feb. Yeah, which I'd expect. I'd yeah. expect people have got some more money again. But the big one is basically in what month was that? September sale volume is exactly the same as March, and the value only a little bit different. Yeah, I'm trying to read your notes, 
but uh, I can't read your handwriting, so I'm going to let you make the points, and I'm going to I'm going to work on them. Right. So <laughs> the first point is: could this be down to? Let's just go to us. Could this be down to a lack of interest in and, Pokemon? In Pokemon, and potentially mm. negativity that's been going out or in Pokemon the last month. We've seen it all over YouTube. A lot of drama. Dr- do your drama alert nation or whatever. What's up, drama alert nation? A lot of that going on, yeah. right, with the big Pokemon YouTubers. Uh, what we blame <laughs> we blame Randolph. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> no, but that, that has been happening. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. is there potential that there's been a lack of interest? There definitely is. Maybe people are just a bit bored of Pokemon now. It's been going on, you know, for a lot of people. This has started in October last year, yeah. and maybe people have just got a little bit bored. That could be a reasoning. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely uh, potential. Obviously, we haven't had a new game out just yet. We've had some. We've had some news about some new games. Uh, we've had a dead set. Just Battle styles. I don't think it's been the best set. It's been okay, but it wasn't I mean, Vivid Voltage. No, it wasn't I think Vivid that's fair Voltage. to say. Uh, it wasn't Champions Path. It wasn't Hidden Fates. Like we had Hidden Fates reprints in November, right? So yeah. November, November got some sales just from people going, "Oh, I can get some PSA ones instead of some tins." Absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and remember this: this is only PSA cards. So it is. It is. A lot of the stuff here is high value. Like it's it's hard to get. Maybe maybe the. The supply is a thing. Supply could be a thing. I mean, Maybe it's difficult to get them. Yeah, yeah like, it could be that simple. We've seen cards coming back now. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> thank God. Um, but we we hadn't in ages. No, we hadn't. Um, like well, like I said in the update before this, we had two. I months wasn't worth in here. You wasn't, but we had two months worth of submissions in the week. If I that was makes trying sense. Trying to find a phone charger. You, you was indeed. Um, so, uh, but you know that potentially could be. I don't yeah. think it is because I still think there's a lot of engagement. I still think there's a lot mm. of interest. And maybe I think less people are buying it. That's fair enough. But I still think there's a lot of engagement, a lot of interest. Pokemon still seems to be at the top of a lot of YouTube us and a lot of you know gain interaction in videos yeah. it's not died a death i watch a lot of youtube stuff and the amount of non-pokemon stuff i see just reference it just randomly through a video and you're like oh please i'm trying to have some time off <laughs> I, I work with pokemon cards pretty much for a living let me relax and watch a tech video or something yeah so i think i think the interest still there is what I'm yes saying. <laughs> that's great bit of a personal monologue there from yeah. tom but the point is still proven the interest is still there uh because it's just and it's every everything it's, YouTube everywhere, it's yeah. everywhere instagram blah 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 um right so secondly i'm, I'm going to give you my perspective now and I, i'm going to give you what i think is, has actually happened the reason why there's been such a massive yeah. drop off is due to market uncertainty how how much how many times have we sat here doing these TCTs going? Oh, is that what that says? That's what that says. How many times have we said end of lockdowns? You know, then you're going to see people buying other things, moving their investments, moving their money they spend. So you're saying we're the fault? Yes, yeah, so potentially. Okay. You know, how many times so people are there for holding back, just seeing if that's going to be the case? Yeah, to be fair, like I'm not going to lie. Right now, if I had a hundred pounds in my pocket and I had the ability to go ice skating and out for pizza and the cinema. I could buy a Pokemon card. I'd probably go and spend it and go do things. And those are the choices people are having to make, right? Yeah. So that that therefore there's a, there's an uncertainty there. What are people going to continue spending money on? Second to that, the big news is PSA have closed because they've had too much demand. So therefore there's a there's got potentially a supply overload. So mm. we're getting re- sorry, we're getting returns back, which means potentially well, I'd expect a lot of other dealers a lot of other graders are getting more returns back they've closed so therefore you know in theory they should be able to get through and churn yeah. through more cards that, that's a, I think that's a fair expectation yeah I think everyone was expecting hundreds of thousands of cards to go to PSA and then only their cards come back I think like so many people seem to have been like oh I'm going to submit because everyone submitted in May last year and they're getting their cards back or they're not got their cards back yet so i'll get mine back at the same time and this is just my personal opinion i think that's a crazy move for people who are like investing hard they've come what 10 months later or something to 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 try and grade which is still going to take the same amount of time which means they're going to get their cards back like a year later nearly 10 months later or yeah. whatever yeah, yeah, yeah uh, if enough. it stays at the same rate when cards will already be having an influx back and maybe people have realized like oh oh Hundreds of thousands of cards might be coming back now. However, I, I would argue that you know people haven't realised, or mm. maybe maybe people just don't care. Maybe people think it's don't an impact yeah. because PSA got more submissions than ever. So therefore, yeah, but that's what I mean. Now they've closed, like you said, yeah. PSA have closed. I think people now might be going. Still. They could be. <laughs> yeah. I, I I think that's definitely. A, I I think this drop in activity is more to do with people 
trying to work out what the future is. So it, I don't think it's due to a lack of interest. I personally don't think it's due to a lack of uh, wanting the cards. I think it's just because people are like, yeah, but what happens if loads of Hidden Fates come back? You know, the prices are obviously going to drop. On the flip side of that, with first edition WotC, those sorts of investors and collectors are like, wait there, what happens if I keep my cards? Because maybe PSA won't grade that many. Maybe the, you know, maybe particular cards, the Dark Espion first edition from Near Destiny, what happens if only two more are graded in PSA 10 from now till next year? The value of that yeah. is going to skyrocket because every Pokemon card that's around has gone. Like, especially yeah. in that era. I'd go for harder cards to grade. Like I'd go for, like, Lugia Neo Gen first. If you've got that card now, I don't care if there's, what, a thousand of them at PSA that are between eight and nine worthy. Don't care. If you've got the ten... I'm not going to lie to you guys, that card came out in 2001. Yeah. The last 20 years probably haven't been nice to that print run because the print run itself was bad. It was. Like, mm. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't let go of that card. Like, if I loved that card right now and I was like, I can either sell it now for 80 grand or whatever it's worth, whatever stupid money Pretty it's worth. spot on, yeah. Or, or I can let it go and hope I can buy it back in the future. Not a chance. Not with the way Pokemon's been going the last, like, year or so because... If I would have sold my PSA 10 first edition Charizard, luckily I didn't, for like 40 grand. <laughs> yeah. And now I could get 400 grand for it. I wouldn't be able to buy that back now. That's right. That's uh, that's what I think. I think a re-evaluation is happening on both sides. Yeah. So you've got the modern and the non-modern. And I think of re people with the modern are re-evaluating going, wait there, what happens when PSA return loads of these? And then people with the non-modern are going, wait there, what happens if actually these don't change that much? Yeah. There could, you know, there could be, there could be volatile movements on both sides increasing and decreasing and i think that at the end of the day they are i hate to use this word but they are different asset classes yeah because the rarity is different the the difficulty to the grade them is different, different. the value is different the type of collector who's going after the, the type of buyer who's going after hidden fates against well, watsy first editions they're two very different oh yeah you know what you right? can so, like both we're not saying you yeah can't you like can't both. you can but usually investors are picking one yeah, they're not they're not picking up loads of hidden fates. Yeah, unfortunately. So even though hidden fates are sick, uh, and in my opinion, one of the best things happened to Pokemon in the last fifteen years. Oh, I think long term the trajectory of it is going to be oh, amazing. Yeah. Going, I can see lots of people getting back we into it again. We talked about PSA closing for the for the reason for this drop off. This was March. PSA didn't close till April. So uh, mm. I think a lot of speculation was going on about what would happen with PSA more so. Like Nat took over. What does that mean? Yeah. This happens, that happens, price rises. I think that P I think PSA news oh like as an overarching so it does kind of have had a big effect. It does kind of spread. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. we kinda we didn't know that PSA were gonna close, but we definitely heard on Twitter and stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's a chance there could be big changes. Um Grapevine would be the great name for a social media platform. But yeah. It would. But so I, I just think realistically, it's not due to interest, it's not due to lack of money availability. What it is due to is a reevaluation from yeah. every single side uh, as the economy reopens because people might be like I want to go ice skating I want to eat pizza I want to do that I think we've all eaten a lot of pizza in lockdown but you know that's kind of what people are thinking right now in my opinion and I think people kind of want to see where it's going to be in two three months time before yeah. they go and commit to buying or selling more cards but again it's kind of a weird feedback loop at the same time though because if everyone waits the market goes down, right? Because mm -hmm. no one's buying it. And then everyone goes, oh, but the market's going down, so I'm not going to invest. So if everyone's doing that, like if we drop that to 3 million, 4 million, or like it's behavior, lower, it's behavior economics. Yeah, it's like, what happens then? So, will, will it spike again? Will it level out? Will it gradually rise? Uh, you know, some economists have a... Uh have theories that basically if in the newspapers after the Great Depression you said, oh, I think it's going to be fine and the stock market doesn't really reflect real business, then potentially they could have had a better bounce back because eco economies are built on confidence. They're on confidence oh, on the that? consumer and the investor, on the business owner. If you feel like you're going to get less money back when you buy something, if it's not a consumable, then therefore you won't make that transaction. And the economy runs on transactions. So the less transactions happen and the less confident people get, it, it can become a spiral. Yeah. Um, so that is something I think as collectors we've got to work out. I would be very concerned if this continued to drop. Like, I'm kind of expecting a, a levelling out next month yeah, yeah, sure. and then an increase the month after. Because I still think there's a lot of strength in the Pokemon market. I think Wait it for is lockdown just... 7, guys. Oh, God. Don't it'll it'll happen again. 
Anyway, I think that's quite a short one. I don't think we need to go into too much detail with this. Uh, we've done the order update system, which we're very happy with. And I know that you are gagging for a chippy. So Always, mate. Oh, um, that would be it, really. Hopefully you enjoyed that small little insight. But enjoy the rest of your week. And hopefully I'll get another email at the end of it. Yeah, and go buy loads of Pokemon cards. Because apparently no one is. So you might have a chance. See you later, guys. <laughs>